The Digital Markets Act, also called the DMA, is a groundbreaking legislative proposal initiated by the European Commission in December last year. It aims at curbing the market power of large uh, digital uh, companies. And if you want, it is the largest regulatory package ever since the regulation of the telecom and the energy markets. The DMA aims at ensuring that consumers pay fairer prices, have more uh, services to choose uh, between, and that they can, amongst others, also change to the one or the other provider of their choice. It also aims at fostering innovation and that, for example, startups um, you know, can innovate in their digital sphere without fearing unfair terms and conditions. The DMA targets gatekeepers. Gatekeepers are large, typically large digital companies that have a very important and significant impact in the European market and that provide what we call a core platform service. A core platform service is, for example, a marketplace such as Amazon's marketplace or eBay. It is an app store, for example, Google Play or Apple's app store. It can also be a um, you know, a search um, engine, it can be a video um, platform such as Netflix and many, many others. It is very important that these companies intermediate between businesses on the one hand and consumers on the other hand. Now, the DMA originally only wanted to target a very small group of large digital players, such as Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. But in the latest proposal, the definition of gatekeepers has been expanded to include many more players, for example, Airbnb, Booking.com, and Zalando, and also services such as um, voice assistants, for example, I'm thinking of uh, Siri or Alexa, and also connected TVs. The DMA imposes onto gatekeepers a number of very detailed obligations. For example, the gatekeepers must not self-preference their own services in search functions or in rankings or in app stores. Um, they must also ensure that certain services and social media are interoperable and um, there are many, many more obligations to it, but also, most, very importantly, from an M&A perspective, the gatekeepers must, before they intend to acquire a company that is active in the digital sphere, they must notify that transaction to the European Commission. Why is that? The European Commission wants to avoid that the big digital companies um, acquire or carry out so-called killer acquisitions, that is, acquire companies that are small, rather small, don't have a large uh, turnover, but have a very large innovative potential. Now, the gatekeepers, if they don't comply with a large set of obligations set out in the DMA, they may risk fines between 4 and 20% of their last year's turnover. So it is massive. So we expect that the DMA will come into force by 2023. Now the timeline is still a little bit in flux. The French presidency that will take over um, in January next year would like to pass the DMA uh, already in the next uh, year, uh, in the beginning of the next year, together with the Sister Act, the Digital Services Act, which regulates the online content. For now, however, it is expected that within the next few days, the parliament will vote on the revised proposal um, of the DMA.